This year is special because we are celebrating the 50th anniversary of St Mary of the Angels in County Kerry. We pride ourselves in providing the highest quality of service for the men, women and children we support right across County Kerry. Our vision is to create opportunities for those individuals and to maximise their potential. Thank you for your continued support. The beginning of St Mary of the Angels was in some ways like a fairy tale. The service was built on the farm of the late Dennis and Mary Doyle in Whitefield Beaufort to whom we owe great thanks and remember specially on this momentous occasion. The Doyle family decided to offer their home and farm to the Order of Franciscan Sisters when their only daughter Mary Rose joined the Order. The, uh, the place is still providing a home and, and care and shelter for 76 people today, hundreds of people over that 50 year spread. So their gift has certainly uh, done a lot for the community in Kerry and, and further afield. Shortly afterwards, in consultation with the sisters, the then Bishop of Kerry, Bishop Moynihan, requested the service to become a home from home for children with special needs. But what we have behind us is the original main building, which was construction started in 1967 and it opened in 1968. And it initially was where everybody, all the children who came into the, the centre when it opened, everybody lived here initially. So there was three units upstairs. You had St Austin's unit, St Mary Grish's unit in the middle and at the end of the corridor was St Margaret's unit. There was no lift. You had to be up and down the stairs with your laundry, uh, meals etc. There was some of them were wheelchair dependent, you had no heist, it was totally manual lifting and you also have to remember they were up and down to school and you had to be up and down the stairs, bring them down in the morning to, for school, collect them at lunchtime for their lunch, bring them back down again in the evening for their school and collect them again in the evening. They had like six beds in each dormitory all of those beds were taken out in the corridor manually and piled on top of each other for the whole floor to be washed. Oh, it just manual. wasn't a lick on the, it was outstanding. It was, I thought, the cleanliness, even the way they washed beds, it was just second to none. I started off in St. Margaret's June, it's been my first day there and I couldn't wait to get out of there. I said, this is not for me at all. Went down the bottom of the stairs, went out the back door, went home. I wasn't coming back, no way. That was the end of it. My mother told me there's a certain person who was walking here that was related to me. If he can do it, I can do it. <laughs> and she also said that it's a very rewarding job. And when she said the word rewarding, I said I have to give it a chance. When I came the first couple of days I spent here, I was listening to stories of role models, people that have left before, people like um, Mika Sand, for instance, we all know. Other legends have, de have developed over the years. People that I have walked with myself that were there before me, and for instance, and I'm not just saying it because this person is here, the Vera Sheehan. Mary Dunahoe, um, um, Bernice Shea, and a few more like that. And it was always a case of, um, you know, give, fill up the cups. You know, don't wait for certain times to check for personal hygiene. Keep checking, you know, would you like if you were left this way and all that. And you know, the standard of care was always so high. I'm Danny Lawler, uh, Danny Lawler's mother. He's in Mary Gritty's unit. And he's here since he was three years of age. And we had celebrated his 40th birthday last week. And he had a big party over in the gym yesterday. Then he loved it. He loved the attention. And he has a girlfriend in the unit named Michelle Murphy. She's from Cork. But they had a great time and she was put at the table with him when he was blowing out his candles. The first time that he fed himself, we came in to visit and I thought they were after winning the lotto because great news, great news, great news. And the news was that Danny started feeding himself, spoon feeding himself. The nuns 
were brilliant. They were always here to greet you, and they, they always knew your name, and they'd ask about all your family. Sister John, uh, she was from Wales, and she taught Danny how to pray and bless himself. And he says the angel is every night when he's at home. And um, I love all part of that. Do you know, it gives you confidence. There's a doctor on call, the physiotherapist on call. Danny is inclined to get chest infections. But uh, he wouldn't get the care in the hospital that he gets here. Well, my name is Anna Hannifin, and my daughter Fiona Hannifin attends St Mary of the Angels. She first started here in 1981. She was nearly nine years of age. Um, we, prior to that, we lived in the UK, and Fiona went to special school there. When she was getting older, and we felt that we needed family support, our family heard about St Mary of the Angels and what a good place it was that we started off by meeting the nuns here and they were most helpful. They reassured us that everything would be done to improve Fiona, you know, to bring her out to the best of her ability. She, when she came she couldn't hold a spoon, she couldn't hold a cup and she couldn't, she could only walk about ten steps. When Fiona started off she wouldn't, um, you couldn't get feeding her with a spoon because she wouldn't open her mouth so one of us would have to make her laugh so she'd open her mouth and then the other one would put a little bit into her mouth. That's how she started out at home anyway. Is that right? Yeah. They also care for us as well. It was like home from home. Um, that's how I could describe it anyway. It's still the same. And it remains the same. Hello, my name is Noreen Devan. I'm from Port McGee. My daughter Trace is here since 1977. Uh, when Trace started coming here to the pool, the year before that, because she wasn't able to walk. But after coming here, she learned to walk and she got rid of her bottle. <laughs> the creator came out with a bottle of milk and it was the hardest thing ever. It was very homely. We met so many parents, got friends with so many families coming in here. She didn't know my car when I come up a Sunday. She's looking out the window and watching to get out for a drive would go back in quite happy. I mean, she never cried coming back here, you know, like. My name is Joyce Spambury and my brother Thomas Spambury has been here since 1992. He's 41 years old now, so he was almost 16 when we came here. My brother has a diagnosis of autism and a moderate learning disability. So while his disability is moderate intellectually, his autism would be quite severe at times. So Thomas um, went to a public special school in New York until he was almost 16 years old. But one day, I'll never forget it, I was only five years old and I came home from preschool and my mother was crying. And it was because they'd received a letter from Thomas's teacher saying they could no longer keep him in the school, that you know they'd exhausted every avenue but his behaviour was too challenging. And they had come up with a solution that my brother would go into residential care upstate New York. And the only place was 200 miles away and my mother was just devastated. So. When push came to shove anyway, my father had heard of St. Mary of the Angels because his mother was from the Whitefield area. And anyway, we moved our whole family <laughs> across the Atlantic Ocean and came back to Kerry. It's been, it's been life-changing for our family to have this place. It's, it's always been like heaven on earth for us. And look, he's just so happy. And Thomas and Daniel. And that's um, Thomas with Dad. Now, my dad was a great man for keeping, making himself comfortable in St. Brendan's. I'd say he's solely responsible for the wrecking of a couch inside there from lying down on it. <laughs> the sisters were very forward-thinking and in 1975 opened a hydrotherapy pool and gymnasium, the first in Munster. Our residents here are very, very competitive and they like to win cups and they like to win trophies. Sports became an integral part of residents' lives as it still is today. I suppose when I came first, I got very involved in the Special Olympics. I would have travelled all over Ireland, carrying the lads to different games. We've been to the Europeans in Dublin, the All-Irelands in Belfast. We had some great weeks away with them, you know. And they've done exceptionally well in Special Olympics. There were many key dates in the development of the service. In 1980, the chapel was opened. Different priests have been here over the years, Father Clifford, Father Seamus, Father Michael Fleming, mm -hmm. 
to name a few. Um, and we'd visiting priests and they would come in, you know, come in to do the Mass in the morning. But there over the last year and a half, we got a new priest here, Father Derek. And my goodness, the lads adored him. In my own life, people with special needs have taught me so much about life, uh, about perseverance. The, the greatest lesson I ever learned in life was I learned from a person who had severe cerebral palsy. They couldn't lift up their heads, but they taught me through their joy never ever to give up. In the early 1970s, Mother Fatima opened a school in one of the farm buildings. There were two teachers. I was the only SNA, and it, it was open to residents, really, of the, the residential centre. And this was prior to the department getting involved and when the bosses started to roll, Philomena was the vice principal of the school. 78, then Griffith, John Griffiths came, he was the principal then. You won't believe this now, 16 children with varying abilities and disabilities in the one classroom. Our um, programme that time was very much hands-on, practical, mm -hmm. applied with the theory. Mm -hmm. We knew the farmers working here, we engaged mm -hmm. with them and, right. and they the used to, the and and they used engage and with yeah, us and give yeah. them knowledge about how each thing yeah. worked. Everything was handmade. I can remember doing um, you know, the, the boards for matching. Mm -hmm. And like Jeannie Mac, we used to go out looking for where the covers of um, the uh, wallpaper yeah. samples, you know, mm -hmm. you'd have the hard cover bring in those covers and then cover it over and then stick on your your uh, pictures and create other pictures in. and she was all contact at the time. So like I mean, Jeannie and Matt, did we make some stuff? To this day, St Francis Special School provides an excellent education to approximately 50 children who come from all over County Kerry. There's a great atmosphere in the school. Subsequently, the old school building became a day service called Oak Tree Lodge. In 1999, the Oak Tree Lodge day service moved into a new purpose-built building. In 1998, the St Mary of the Angels service was extended beyond the campus in Beaufort, with the opening of an after-school service for local pupils in Carsevine called Syvine Care. This service provides support for children with intellectual disability aged between 6 and 18 years. It also provides respite to parents. Shortly afterwards, in 1999, the St Francis Daycare Service was also opened in Listowel and later moved to a new premises called Ashfield Lodge. Back on the St Mary's campus, in 2002, residents from two units, St Mary Goretti's and St Austin's, moved from the main building to new houses on campus. The service was further expanded in 2003 when a Walia respite service in Listowel was opened. This provided a valuable respite service for children and adults with intellectual disabilities, providing overnight, after school and weekend support. In 2005 came another significant milestone for St Mary of the Angel Services when the service amalgamated with St John of God Kerry Services. Both services shared similar values and ethos and a strong connection between the services existed for many years as a number of residents had transferred between the two services. The map shows the amalgamated services and thus expansion of the service in numerous locations across County Kerry. In recent years, St Mary of the Angels, now as part of the St John of God Kerry Services, has further grown its services to meet the needs of individuals across the county. With the opening of Searsha Day Service in Listowel in 2016 and the Acorn Service in Tralee in 2017. Since 2013, our residential services have been regulated uh, by the state. This is very much welcomed by us here in Kerry and I think the introduction of regulation to residential services is the single most uh, positive driver of change for people who use those services. HICWA standards and achieving that is 
well, it's mandatory. You have to do that. It's, it's very, very important, you know. But ultimately, I suppose it's not all about HICWA registration and meeting standards. It really is about what's it like to live here? What's it like to be part of this service? And what's my home like because I do live here? The regulations cover a, a wide gambit of stuff and significant work goes into achieving fire safety, compliance, recruitment, training. There's an awful lot entailed in registration. However, ultimately, what my day is like, how I spend my time and how am I respected in my home are what fundamentally the services need to be about. And that's what we strive to achieve here, is that we support the men, women and children in our services to live the lives that they want, a life that respects their rights, has high expectations for them and work with them to achieve those expectations. The service now supports in excess of 300 men, women and children we have a total of 380 staff supporting these services throughout the county. We are very proud of the history and development of the wonderful services provided in St Mary of the Angels, St John of God Kerry Services and St Francis School. Thank you for watching our video. We hope it has given you a greater understanding of our services.